Okay, so today we are going to go over how to make cheap goose sleeper shells. So if you have old sleeper shells in your barn, maybe grandpa left some in there that you don't use anymore because they're old and crusty. Or if you can find some like I did on the Facebook swap, um, these were old shells that didn't have heads. Uh, the guy sold me a hundred of them for a hundred bucks. We went through and touched them up, kind of gave them a paint job. Uh, which we will make another video, kind of how we touch up the paint. Uh, but for the heads, because you don't want to run them like this, um, for late season, wherever you're at, a lot of people like to run sleepers. So we're going to kind of go how you can make these super cheap and super easy. Uh, what you'll need is goose shells for one. Uh, whatever you can find, like I said, if you have some laying around that don't have heads, or if you can find some online to buy, a lot of people will sell them to you really cheap if they don't have the heads for them anymore. You're also going to need some of these. These are four inch foam balls. Uh, you can get them from Amazon. We bought a hundred of them for $49.99. So 50 bucks are about 50 cents a piece. Um, they're really light and they're just white four inch foam balls. We couldn't find black ones, but the white ones actually work well because we're going to tape on them. That way they have the color pattern of a Canadian goose when they're sleeping. And then you're going to need black spray paint or flocking. I got the camo rust-oleum. Um, this is the paint I use to touch up the decoys. So I got a bunch left over that we're going to use it to paint these. So we're going to kind of go step by step. Basically what you're going to do is take your foam ball, the painter's tape, rip off. This is an inch and a half thick painter's tape. I always rip off a piece about three inches long and just tape it right across the ball just like that on one side. Um, the reason I do one side, most sleeper shells you see um, when the goose is laying back, you only see one side anyway. Plus you can do this super fast, go through and uh, tape them as fast as you can. If you look over here, we've been going for a while now and we got a whole box of them in here. They're all painted. I did this all in about, I don't know, five, 10 minutes. You just rip them open, paint them, as fast as you can or tape them as fast as you can and then when you're done move on to the next bag okay so from here we have all of our white foam balls those are four inch foam balls you can get from Amazon taped um, you'll take your black spray paint I like to find a stick this is just an old broom handle flip the camera I've already started to paint some of these um, and they've started to dry but you'll see they're not all the way done um, you can definitely go about this better than I do. You could uh, flip this box over, cut little holes in them, about two inches thick, set the balls in them, and then paint each side and then flip them over. I am lazy, so what I'm doing is putting them in here, trying to keep overspray from getting on my phone. And I'm just going through and painting these all black the best I can. Sorry. <laughs> Not great camera work while I'm painting. Definitely not a cinematic masterpiece. Going through and I'm painting them the best I can here. You see how black you can get them. Kind of letting those dry. And then once those dry, we're going to take our stick. We're going to just kind of stir them around until we find the parts that still have a little bit of white on them. And we're going to touch those up with the paint as well. So here is the alternative yet slower method, which is to find something like this um, where you can set the balls, you know, three or four at a time here. And then you can go through and paint them and be a little more, you know, artistic or efficient about it. Um, you get a lot better paint this way but obviously it's going to take a lot longer to do it if you're doing a hundred at a time, but this is a better way to do it. If you want to make sure you get all those spots instead of just spray painting all of them together. Although either method works. I prefer when I'm doing a whole bunch of them to do it this way or to at least do the first uh, cover in the box and then kind of pull them out one at a time once they've dried and kind of hit them over with this to touch them up. Um, but either way, 
Um, paint them however you see fit and whatever works best for you. Just try to make sure you get enough coats on. It sticks pretty well to this foam, uh, but you will want a few coats because when it starts snowing, um, when you start getting in bad weather, running these things, you don't want the black to just peel off super easy. So I'm going through painting them, getting them as good as I can here. You can see that right there needs to be touched up a little bit. Get it as painted as I can. Drop it in the box. Do the next one. That one looks pretty good. Drop it in the box. And then basically just keep going until you get all of them done. Let them wait for a little bit. Let them sit. And then you're going to come back and you're going to give them one more good coat before you start super gluing them onto your thing. And we will show you here in a second what they look like when they're all finished. All right, so it's been a couple hours. You look behind us here. You have all of our heads. Um, we've had kind of drying out. Um, I usually let them dry completely and then I will hit them with a second coat of paint because a lot of times that foam will actually, you'll see it kind of degrade as the paint gets into it. Um, so we will take a step back over here. Um, some of these still need an extra coat. That's why they're sitting here. You can kind of see what I'm talking about, how you can kind of see some of the white. Um, but you'll take the tape off and this is your final product. So it's windy. I like to set them kind of at an angle just like that. Um, you got to glue them down. Obviously, I just set some of these on here to show you, but this is what they end up being. So we painted these shells. Uh, they were old and crusty. They didn't have heads. We put these heads on um, from the air. They look pretty good, especially when you mix them in with the decoys. You're already going to be running your full bodies and stuff. Um, so, yeah, this is the finished product. Uh, leave a comment. Let us know how you what you think they look like, what you think. Uh, we'll be posting another video how we painted these decoys and touched them up. Um, but yeah, this is the finished product for those sleeper heads. It's a great way to kind of refurbish older decoys or if you can get decoys cheap and run a bunch of sleepers late in the year when that weather is really bad and you want to run a bunch of these on top of the snow or on top of the ice. So leave a comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, let us know what you think or ask any questions about the process. Thanks for tuning in, guys.